This holiday season is an emotional one for our Bernalillo County first responders. They lost four of their own in a deadly helicopter crash this summer. And today, those emotions ran even deeper as the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office revealed a new memorial wall dedicated to those heroes who we lost their, who lost their lives on duty. Scarlett Liz Jack was there for the ceremony today. Scarlett, what was the idea behind this wall? This wall became a priority for the sheriff's office after, after the Metro 2 crash where four first responders lost their lives. The sheriff's office tells me they wanted a place to honor their sacrifice that wasn't in D.C. but close to home so family can come and visit. Remembering, reflecting, and paying respect to those that made the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice. That's what this wall represents. Honoring the 10 first responders who lost their lives while wearing the badge. We wanted to do something on behalf of the ones that we, we don't want to forget. So that's what this is about, the unveiling of the memorial wall. The names on this wall date back as far as 1930 to 2010. I've notified the deputy's family and I can tell you it is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. And of course, the Metro 2 crash. On July 16th, we faced one of the worst tragedies in the history of New Mexico, and definitely within the Sheriff's Office. To memorialize their story, the Sheriff's Office hired local woodworker David Franklin. First, I was blown away from it. Um, it's a huge honor to knowing that this is going to be seen by dozens of people. It was nerve-wracking, but also humbling. Each flag represents a fallen hero. So I knew that the blue line uh, was going to be very important, so I tried to do the design around that. And we also wanted to make sure we added a story behind how, how they passed while serving the county. So that's why the second plaque is there to give detail of that. Now this hallway is a way for visitors to learn about their sacrifice. It was kind of emotional. Being able to go through everybody from 1930 all the way up until, until uh, this past July, um, being able to see their story, what they were doing while they were on shift, how they passed. It's also a chance to visit with old friends. I look at just a way to, to look back on their, on their careers, uh, maybe have a remembrance of them, and uh, a way to just to think about them. All right, so the wall took Franklin two weeks to create and is now a permanent feature at the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office headquarters. Back to you. Yeah, truly a beautiful memorial there. Scarlett, thanks.